you get a dividend increase, and you get a dividend increase, and everybody gets a dividend increase. What's up everybody, this Investing Sensei here to bring you week 27 of the portfolio update. Real quick, I just want to mention that since we hit 500 subscribers, I am doing a giveaway for two winners. It's going to be a $15 Amazon gift card for each. So uh, be sure to head over to that video. I'll probably put the link up right now at the top right. So head over to that. Super easy in to enter and hopefully uh, you win. And uh, yeah, guys, so let's go, go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go kick off the script that we added to the Google Sheet where it goes and collects all the upcoming dividends and uh, we're going to see what we're getting what's coming up and then we're going to move over to uh, the sheet where we keep track of how much money we've invested i actually want to quickly want to review how much we've at contributed this 2020 year so i'm interested in knowing how much we have and i want to show that to you guys so after that we're going to go over to the portfolio so we're going to go to m1 and look at what the portfolio value is for this week and uh, from there, we're going to go to the activities, see what we bought, sold, or any dividends that came in. And then uh, we did get a lot of declared dividends, so we're going to go over those. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to pull up the table that has all the upcoming dividends. Okay, guys, so there's two tables here. The one on the left is uh, sorted out by pay date. So the one closest to the pay date. So this past week, we got these three companies that paid us and then uh, the next one for us is going to be Cisco on the 22nd following that will be the 29th and so this is this is how this one's sorted out the one on the right is sorted out by the ex dividend date so for us we're on the 19th today so the next company for us that we can still meet the ex dividend date is uh, Clorox uh, for the 21st uh, LTC properties and it just goes down from there but let's go ahead and go up here and click off the script uh, so you'll do uh, get upcoming dividends and then we'll see it work its magic we'll wait a little bit and uh, it'll grab all the upcoming dividends for us it's just a little bit longer see how many more we get so I think that's about it so uh, the next one that's going to be paying us is uh, Cisco on the 22nd and so you can see now that it just keeps it nice and neat for us over here for the ex dividend date for us same thing we're still uh, Clorox and we got these other companies coming in so Johnson & Johnson that declared dividends and Microsoft so really cool uh, but yeah guys that's just the script I'm gonna improve it on so I'm gonna be doing some more work on it and uh, if you guys have any ideas on how we can any other cool things that we can add to it let me know I'll try to figure out how to do that but uh, let's go ahead and go and figure out how much we added uh, this past week to the portfolio all right guys so I'm here at the sheet that keeps track of how much money we've been investing and on the 16th I added a uh, hundred dollars to the portfolio and so that brought our total to uh, seventy six thousand seven hundred eleven dollars and eighty four cents so uh, I didn't contribute as much because Right now, what I'm trying to do is uh, save a little, save up a little bit more cash and have it in my uh, high yield savings account, which is not that high of a yield right now. But just want to have a little bit of cash, so if we do see another dip, I can take really good opportunities on it. One thing I do want to show you guys is I want to figure out how much we've contributed this year so far. So I'm going to start right here. So on the first, well, January second, uh, we'll just grab these and uh, sum those up so we've contributed sixteen thousand and ten dollars so far of 2020 so that's pretty impressive I'm wondering how much we will be doing by the end of you know 2020 and we're gonna get this portfolio to grow a lot larger and we're already very close to meeting goal three uh, we technically already beat goal two I'm gonna wait till the quarter two because that one Disney doesn't pay on it so after that I will consider it achieved and then the reach portfolio of 110 the portfolio is doing really good right now so we'll see if we get another dip then we'll see how that goes as well subscriber wise uh, we are at 600 subscribers so thanks so much to all my subscribers so we got 400 more to go on that one and then uh, five and six so five 
I'm still trying to get my girlfriend to start the portfolio. It's just, you know, it gets pushed aside. And then number six, I've tried to talk to him, but he doesn't seem to want to contribute, uh, you know, start investing right now. So the one person that I did get uh, to start investing was my little brother. I, he turned 18 in March and he started up a Roth IRA. So uh, he took some great opportunities uh, when the market dip was. So he's already seen some really great gains on those uh, $500 that he contributed. Uh, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing his portfolio. I'll uh, talk to him and we can do a video on that. But yeah, let's go ahead and head over to the M1 platform to see what our portfolio value is currently. And let me delete this real quick. All right, guys, so we're here at the M1 portfolio and let's go ahead and zoom in over here to the graph. And if we go to the about April 9th, we were at $89,000. Four hundred and eight dollars and twenty eight cents, and from there, uh, it actually went up this past week. So we went up all the way to a total of ninety three thousand one hundred and twelve dollars and twenty six cents, which is really impressive. That's a total of three thousand seven hundred and three dollars and ninety eight cents in just capital appreciation, and you know we just contributed that one hundred dollars. So that's really impressive. The portfolio is growing back up. You see, this is where we did the whole dip, and then we're recovering again. Hopefully we see another dip because I want to buy some more uh, pretty heavy. But yeah, guys, let me go over here to holdings. And you'll see that we have total invested $80,094. And the value of, of it is uh, 93000 uh, We're up 16% and it's a total of 13000 So that's really nice. And we filter out by the red you'll see all these companies that are in the red for us so some of these i'm gonna try to continue to average down some of them are probably i'm just gonna hold off and not buy any for the time being and uh yeah guys the one that's actually doing the best i think is uh actually i think it's nvidia so uh yeah nvidia we're basically up 104 percent so we contributed a total of uh, six thousand dollars. We're up at twelve thousand. So that's really impressive. Same thing for Microsoft. We're about fifty-five percent, and then uh, Apple seventy-two percent. So five thousand dollars. It's at eight thousand, almost nine thousand dollars. So uh, yeah, guys. One thing that I do want to show you guys here is that my tech sector is pretty heavy right now. It's at forty thousand. So I'm gonna try to stop investing a lot in the tech, but it's just so addicting to buy more. Uh, I, do, I do need to add some more to these other sub pies. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and head over to the activities so uh, we can check those out. All right, guys, so we're here at the activities. I have it filtered out to start from April 13th of 2020, and uh, that's this past Monday. So if we go to the very bottom on April 13th, I did one buy of $10. So this $10 was actually the $10 that I got from a referral link. And if you guys are interested in opening an M1 account, the referral link is in the description below. So you'll get $10 and uh, I'll get $10 when you guys contribute $100 to start investing to your portfolio. So you'll help me out. You'll help yourself out. Consider doing that. Uh, but yeah, we almost bought one full share of, uh, well, not one full share, but half of a share of uh, Bank of America. So that's really nice. Uh, so thanks whoever signed up for it. And then on April 15th, we got $7.15 from EPR Properties, and then Legged and Platt paid us $2.77, and then Relative Income paid us $6.44. So that's about $16 that we got in dividends for this past week. We didn't do anything. And then on the 16th, uh, we deposited the $100. And then on that same day, we did three buys. So we did a total of $116.36. So this was the $100 that I contributed plus the $16 of dividends. So uh, we bought $36 of JP Morgan, $30 of Legged and Platt, $50 of Realty Income. So pretty happy about those buys. But yeah, guys, this uh, wraps up the activities. Let's head over to the declared dividends. We have a couple of those to do. All right, guys. So we're here at the declared uh, dividend email alerts. And if you guys are actually interested in knowing how to do this, I created a video last night. I uploaded it. Uh, be sure to check that out. It's a uh, step-by-step on how to set this up. Real quick, I just realized that I didn't add colors to these labels, so I want to do that real quick. And we're going to make this one this color, so it looks a lot better now. Uh, so 
we do have uh, five companies that declare dividends. So Realty Income pay, uh, declared 23 cents here. Johnson & Johnson, uh, it's actually going to be a raise. Procter & Gamble is going to be a dividend increase as well. EPR Properties declares a dividend. And then Costco uh, increased its dividend. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, Realty Income. So we'll click on this, click on the read now. It'll take you out to Seeking Alpha. All right, so it looks like Realty Income declares 23 cents and they will be paying out May 15th and then the next dividend date is April 30th. So uh, we still have time to add some more shares of Realty Income, which I just did this uh, past week. All right, so the next one, guys, is uh, Johnson & Johnson. So uh, they declare a dollar and one cent uh, quarterly and uh, that's a 6.3 increase uh, in dividends from uh, what they were paying before. So they're, before they were paying 95 cents. So uh, they will be paying out June 9th, and then the ex dividend date is uh, May 22nd. So that's really cool. We just uh, got a 6% increase in our dividend income. So we didn't even do anything. So it's a free raise. So that's really cool. Let's head over to the next one, guys. Okay, guys. So the next one here is uh, Procter & Gamble. So they declare $0.79 cents, uh, per share quarterly, and that is a 6% increase from the prior $0.74 cents that they were paying so that's really awesome. Uh, they'll be paying out May 15th, and then the ex dividend date is April 23rd. So we still have time to add some more shares. That's really cool that we just got another 6% increase. Uh, this is really nice to see all of this because a lot of other companies have been actually suspending or cutting the dividend. So let's head over to the next one. All right, the next one is EPR Properties. Uh, they're declaring $0.38 cents, uh, per share monthly, and they will be paying out May 15th. The ex dividend date is April 29th. So that's pretty nice that they haven't cut the dividend yet. And uh, hopefully they won't. So uh, let's go ahead and go to the last one, which is Costco. All right, and Costco, they declare 70 cents per share quarterly. And that's almost an 8% increase from the prior 65 cents that they're paying. So that's really awesome. And uh, they will be paying out May 15th. Ex dividend date is April 30th. So that, how cool is that, guys? We just got three companies in our portfolio that either did a six to eight percent uh, dividend increase and we didn't do anything and especially in these hard times right now so it's uh, really nice to see this and it helps with uh, continuing to invest more but anyways guys this actually wraps up the video if uh you guys made it this far be sure to uh, hit the subscribe button bell notification if you haven't done so and be sure to smash that like button it helps a lot and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next video take care